Hey guys, welcome to That Astro Chick, where I talk about everything spirituality, law of attraction, and what's really going on in our world today. So, in this episode, episode three, I will be talking about how to become the main character in your life or how to romanticize your life. I feel this topic is a little bit slept on and it was a fad on TikTok. That's how I heard about it personally. I have a TikTok video on this too if you want to check it out, Lighthouse Tarot 1111. I don't really get on there anymore, but you can check it out if you want. But the trend is you are the main character and living your life as you were the main character, putting that energy out into this. And we do this all the time with the law of attraction, whether we know it or not. The law of attraction is always in motion. When we decide to manifest is simply taking our life off autopilot and putting intention behind it saying, okay, I want to manifest a blueberry muffin instead of random pancakes through the day. Or I would like to manifest this experience than having random experience or the same experiences every day. So when you decide that you want to be the main character of your life, the main character of your movie, of your story, there's certain steps that you should go through when you want to do this. I personally decided to do this in 2020. I heard about the TikTok trend, how to become a main character. And I also saw that certain celebrities, certain singers, certain writers, Certain people like that, like Eminem, for example, or Beyonce, created alter egos when they didn't feel like they had enough courage or confidence to get up on stage and perform, for example, or to put out a certain album or to say what they needed to say, they would call on their alter ego. And I found it super fascinating that these type of people who are, I feel, iconic and inspirational already were at a point in their life where they didn't feel that way. So they just created a whole alter ego and really ran with it and it helped them manifest the career of their dreams. So I decided to do this myself. I invented this alter ego named Willow and I went all out, guys. I really enjoy writing for fun as a Virgo moon. I feel it helps me with my analytical. It helps me problem solving. It's very nice. It's very clean. It's tidy and it helps me to channel my creativity in a way that is is beautiful and I find it very satisfying when I write a scene or I write a short story or even chapters from a book. So during this time, I create a main character called Willow and I created what she looked like, what her hair looked like, what her eyes looked like, her personality, how people reacted to her. I went a step further, not how she would act around people, but how other people reacted to her. I made her every single thing that I wanted to be. And they say when you're writing, it's best to write about the main character like you have a crush on them. So that's exactly what I did. I said, okay, well, Willow, she is, she has blue hair. She dresses alternative. She has an attitude, but she's very sweet deep down, but a lot of people don't know it. Nothing can get by her. She is a badass. She is bold. She's courageous. She does not care what anyone thinks about her. She has one best friend and a lot of close friends and everyone loves to be around her. She's very popular. She's innovative. Any obstacle in her life, she doesn't view as an obstacle. She sees it as a challenge. Everything's fun to her. It's a game. She's playful. She's adventurous. She skates around at midnight. She has a posse of friends around her sometimes, and she also enjoys time alone. She loves to explore. She's very curious. She loves to travel, and she's out here living her best life unapologetically and she is a badass so that was my alter ego my main character and I would tap into Willow anytime I felt that I didn't have enough courage or I didn't have enough confidence to do things I really wanted to do but I wasn't quite there yet so I would tap into Willow and I would ask myself through the day I know it sounds far out there esoteric but trust just like listen listen on this I would ask myself during the day what would Willow do? Anytime I felt like falling back into my people-pleasing tendencies, anytime I wanted to say yes to something that I didn't really want to, because Aaron Dowdy says in his podcast, in his YouTube channel, anytime you say yes to something that you don't want to, you are in turn saying no to yourself. And that 
really destroys your confidence and that creates not enough self-belief because if you can't even trust yourself, then you can't be confident because you're like, okay, I can't even trust my own word. I can't trust my own boundaries I set for myself. But the more self-trust, the more self-confidence that you place on yourself, that you start to build, the more your confidence goes up. They are one and they are together as above, so below. So after I continued to ask myself, what would Willow do? Willow wouldn't let this emotion affect her. Willow wouldn't say yes to this when she really wants to hang out by herself. Willow would not care what this thumbnail looks like. She's just doing it for the heck of it. Willow is a free spirit. Willow does whatever she wants. Willow has a kind heart and she realizes that people understand that and she doesn't have to speak so much with her words more as show with her energy. And Willow is free and she is happy expressing herself and and she has that mood of deal with it or don't, I'm going to keep being me. And I love that about her. So after I created this alter ego and I started asking myself through the day, what would Willow do? What would Willow do? And then making my decisions based off that, whoo, my life transformed. I had so many adventures come into my life. I manifested beautiful, wonderful experiences. I manifested my soul tribe, my family, my friends that are family to me. I manifested more free clothes. I manifested wonderful experiences. And that's how I learned to be the main character. So if you're in this energy where you decided make the choice, okay, now I want to take my life off autopilot. Now I desire to be the main character of my life because I only have one life and I don't want to live it by someone else's rules, by someone else's book. I want to get out there. I want to live. I don't want to die yet. I want to live and live incredibly. Then you create your alter ego and they can have any name. They can be whatever, however big, however small, whatever personality you want. Just make sure to be detailed. Take your time with this step. If you enjoy writing, write about it. Maybe if you don't like to write, do a voice recording, do a drawing of what your main character would look like, and then envision it. Envision yourself walking around like this main character. Envision yourself talking like this main character. Envision yourself having that like careless attitude if that's what you're into, or acting classy if that's what you're into. And envision the people around you reacting to you as if you were the main character. And make sure and put really inspirational characteristics that you actually like because you're going to be calling on this a lot. This is also your higher self. Make sure to do it in a benevolent way filled with love and never harming anyone else because we're not about that. Okay, so step two when you want to be the main character. Be okay with being alone. If you notice main characters in movies and shows, let's do Euphoria for example. In Euphoria, Jules, before she meets um, the other girl in the show, she spends a lot of time just bicycling around and she has a cute little anime outfit on. She has her hair done and she has a rainbow backpack. And even when people are being mean and like teasing her and throwing stuff at her, she doesn't care. She has a vibe. She has her headphones in, a playlist on. She is like living her life. So the main characters spend a lot of time alone because that's when, you know, plot t twists happen. That's when exciting things happen. They find something or they discover something about themselves where they build up their confidence. So in order to be the main character, you you must be okay with being alone. Actually enjoy it. Look forward to it. Strive for that alone time. Protect your alone time. For a long time as an Aquarius sun, I spent time constantly hanging out with my friend and also I secretly wanted to avoid feeling emotions and the best way I could avoid dealing with my emotions was to keep busy and to solve everyone else's problems or be their therapist or talk about what's going on with them and be a good counselor and just stay so busy that I wouldn't be up in my thoughts. But now, since I have learned meditation and spirituality and how to channel out my emotions through art, through having a YouTube channel, through expressing myself, I have val I'm not afraid to be alone anymore. I enjoy it. So when you spend time alo alone, really romanticize it. Make the ordinary extraordinary. If you're going on a picnic, go all out. It doesn't matter if you don't have, you know, the most expensive food or a perfect picnic blanket. You just need a blanket. You need a picnic basket or a backpack. 
and you need a few of your favorite foods. You need, you know, a snack. You need some water, a drink. (coughs) Excuse me, guys. Sorry, it's a little hot down here. You need something like that, but make it special. Make it more, treat yourself like you would treat someone that you were dating or one of your best friends. You know, fold that little napkin. Get your favorite water bottle, make it a whole event, put your phone on Do Not Disturb and play romantic jazz or music that puts you in a good mood. And when you do that, you're really going to enjoy your time alone and look forward to it because you're going to be treating yourself with like love and self-respect and people are going to feel that energy off you and that energy keeps building momentum, momentum. And that's when you'll start to see your external reality react to you as you are the main character, which is super, super exciting. So you wanna create your alter ego. You wanna ask yourself, what would my uh, alter ego person name do through the day? You want to enjoy your time alone. Really give yourself the best of the best and make it adventures. You can have beautiful, wonderful adventures just by yourself, buy a disposable camera, a Polaroid, or just take pictures when you're out. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy I'm hanging out with you. You're my best friend. You have such great energy. Energy. You're saying this to yourself. It sounds strange. It sounds strange, but it works. You're gonna be like, oh my God, you look so cute today, girl. I love your makeup. Let's go to the park. Let's skate around. Let's listen to whatever song you want. You can pick it. You get the ox cord now, baby. Anything for you. Take pictures of what you discover outside. Spend some time like creating a poem, creating writing, taking a video, just freaking vibing and loving it. Make it exciting. If you want to have more fun, you must make fun a priority. Whatever your, wherever your focus goes, energy grows. So whatever you're thinking about, if you're thinking about adventure and fun and love and um, being the best you and having the best career and more, 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 then that's what you will have. But if you're thinking loneliness and lack and oh my God, my friends aren't hanging out with me or I'm sad or I don't want to be, you know, where I'm living right now or something like that, then you'll get more of that, unfortunately. So that's a simple, simple fix. Just focus on what you want more. And you can do this through gratitude writing gratitude for five minutes saying what you're thankful for i'm not going to get into it because we're getting off topic but anyway back to this so enjoy your time alone value that time alone as a main character and then you want to carry yourself as if you are the main character in order to do this you must smell good you must look good i don't care if you're a guy or a girl both ways both males and females you got to look good and smell good. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy brand names, you have to get a hundred dollar haircut, whatever, but you do have to take the steps of personal hygiene. Take a shower, put on lotion, put on cologne, put on perfume, your favorite, and then accessorize. You can make anything super cute with just accessories like this, a choker and a necklace, a scrunchie, because people feel about you how you feel about yourself. So if you're getting ready and you're putting on your the best of the best and you're like, oh my God, this looks really cute and this looks really cute. I wanna do my makeup like this. It makes me happy when I stare at myself people will in turn be happy when they stare at you because they can feel the happiness and the joy and the confidence and the love vibrating off your aura. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. So do it, girl. Do it, guy. Come on. You got it. (laughs) And after we do this, people will start to react to you as the main character because when you're looking good and feeling good, you are going to be more inclined to making small talk. You're going to be more inclined to flirting. You're going to be more inclined to giving compliments because you're not trying to hide away or make yourself small in the shadows because you're not wearing your best outfit. You are wearing your best outfit outfit, and you are smelling the best and you are looking your best. Therefore, you're feeling yourself. So you're going to want to hype other people up if you're a good person. Like, I'm sure you are listening to this channel. And then you're going to meet more people and you're going to collaborate with more people and that will open more opportunities and you will see people will start to treat you like the main character. And it's not really about that, but it's a nice little perk I found <laughs> when I'm be, being the main character. I'm like, oh my God, people treat me like I'm that special something. This is fucking cool. All right. <laughs> I can get used to this. But the last step i would say if you really want to get into being the main character in 2021 you have to not care 
about what people think of you. And I know it seems like an oxymoron considering all this visualization we are doing on how people react to us. And yeah, they're going to react to you how you visualize, as positive as you think, and it's going to be really amazing, it's going to be great, but at the end of the day, we cannot care what people think about us, because when you don't care, okay, a good example of this is, I heard something where there was a group of guys, right, and they went into a bar and they had a competition, they're like, whoever can get the most numbers, I know, like, so sexist, but whoever can get the most numbers of all the girls at the bar wins. They were just doing a silly bet, whatever. They didn't even win anything. So they went into the bar and all the guys were running around like trying to get numbers, trying to get numbers. And then one guy was standing in the corner. He wasn't even doing anything. He was just vibing. He was having fun. He was dancing. He would go up to like some girls, but it was only, it happened very naturally. And when they got back in the car at the end of the night, they was like, I only got five numbers, I got four, and these guys are trying so hard. And then they looked at Jim over there, who didn't even care. They're like, Jim, how many numbers did you get? He's like, 10. He's like, what? How? And he's like, well, you guys had the intention of texting and calling these girls after you got their number. I had no intention of doing that. Therefore, his energy was different because he did not care, because he went into it like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll get a number, or I don't, I don't care, I want to have a good time that energy is magnetic and it pulls and that's genderless. If you are going somewhere just to have a vibe, just to have fun, people notice that energy. And if you have an energy of desperation, it has to work out. I have to get their number. I have to get this date. I have to have them talk to me. They have to be my friend. Nobody likes to be around that. They might maybe for a little bit, but they, it quickly becomes old. So if you have the energy of, I don't care about what people think about me. This is my life and I'm going to make it the best possible life for me and cater to me in the most benevolent, loving way. But I'm going to have as much fun as I want. I'm going to have as much adventures as I want. I'm going to wear what the heck I want. I'm going to do my makeup, what makes me happy, not how other people accept it to be. What is the perception of beauty? If it makes me feel beautiful, I'm going to do it. I'm going to live. I'm going to laugh more. I'm going to be playful. I'm going to allow myself to be silly because nothing matters. Nothing matters. I could literally move within a month and then I would never see these people again. Or I could just bounce off in my career and I'd be in a totally different spot in another year. Or maybe I could travel across the country and I could have a spiritual trip with, you know, sacred medicine and discover all life's truths and purposes. And none of these little comments would matter because they don't really. Everyone is in their own world. You think people are looking at you, but they're really thinking about what they want to eat for dinner the next day. So when you don't care, that energy will naturally draw in people. I don't know how many times I have put my phone on do not disturb and I have gotten up that day, usually today, a lucky Tuesday, and thought to myself, I don't want to hang out with anyone today. I want to create two YouTube videos. I want to do a podcast. I want to do my hair cute. I want to dress cute. I want to go skating. I want to go on an adventure and I want to do all these things by myself. And because I'm so in that energy of I want to be alone, I want to enjoy being alone. I'm looking forward to it and I want to be in my passion. I will have countless people hit me up during that day more than any other day because another day, maybe I'm not making a YouTube video and I'm feeling, you know, lonely and I'll hit up a friend and they can sense that energy and they feel like they are in turn being manipulated somehow for me trying to hang out and they don't like it because it has a lack mentality like oh you have to hang out with me not saying i do this all the time but you know sometimes we all get feeling down but whenever i put myself first and i just don't care i'm like whatever if someone hangs out with me that's cool and if not i will still make myself fun you have to find the fun now. You have to find the happiness now. You have to find the passion now. You can't wait for any person. Don't ever wait for no man, no woman, no friend, no experience, no house, no level up. Have that fun now. Have that joy now. Have that adventure now. Tell yourself you're the amazing now and be the main character now. It doesn't matter if you don't have a car. It doesn't matter if your house isn't big. It doesn't matter if you're not in a relationship. It does not matter. Just be you be you and <laughs> i know this is a lot to take in but it's something that's weighed on my heart a lot and it took me a long time to realize this and really hone in this energy and i feel it will be very beneficial for you if you want to be the main character you know don't care 
do not care. And if you feel yourself starting to a little bit, a little bit of care, oh, I feel some care. No, just tell yourself, no. What would Willow do? What would my alter ego do? They do not care. Nothing matters. Everything, like, we're going to die someday. Everything could change tomorrow. I could be in a whole another energy tomorrow. And the best thing you could do as a main character is also to focus on your career. Be in your passion because being in your passion elevates your vibe. It creates value in the world. It's good karma. And it brings, it brings in the right type of people in your life. The main character also does not have toxic family, friends around them. If you feel anyone is being toxic, or toxic around you, cut it out. Cut them out because that's going to kill your main character vibe. Because toxic people, narcissists, they treat you like you are starring in their show. They do not treat you like a main character. They treat you very less than in a very abusive way. Therefore, you must cut them out in order to be the main character. If you cannot leave your living environment, if you are living with family that is like this, limit your time around them. Put in headphones whenever they're talking or whenever you're walking around the house, block it out as much as you can. Hang out with your friends outside of the house until you can get out of there. Because I've been in that situation before. I... I feel your pain. I empathize with that. I understand that is very difficult, but you can take little steps. You can always go somewhere. You can always jump in your car and leave, or you can always call a friend to help you out and get out of there. Surround yourself with people who love you. Surround yourself with people who support you. Surround yourself with people who hype you up because you in turn do that to them. Therefore, it should be received towards you. The law of energy, what you give out, you must receive. Yes, amen. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Those are just some little tips I have on how to be the main character. I know each and every one of you can do this. I think it's a beautiful, wonderful thing to do. And all of us can win. All of us can be main characters in our own story, in our own movie. And we should all support each other and hype each other up. Remember to look good, smell good, call on your alter ego, fake it till you make it. And you got this. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Goodbye.